Definition of a soul mate What dictionary say? Dictionaries all over the globe define the terms soul mate differently. But no matter how different the words used are, they all mean the same thing. Soulmate are terms used to refer to someone with whom one would feel love, friendship, intimacy and compatibility. Where did its concept come from? In Greek mythology, it has been stated in Plato's Symposium that humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, just one head but with two adjacent faces. According to this myth presented by Aristophanes, Zeus feared the power of this being, and thus used his own power to separate this being into half, condemning them to searching for the other half, that they may be complete once again. Another theory is that of Theosophy, a doctrine of religious philosophy, which has been modernized by Edgar Cayce, saying that God initially created androgynous souls, which were equally male and female. The mentioned souls, according to this philosophy, separated into two different genders since they are believed to have incurred karma then they treated the world like it was their own playground. There will be numerous reincarnations, and these two will keep searching for each other. When they have been punished enough, or been separated from each other long enough, they will be fused back with one another and will then be whole again. Soul made in the modern world. Nowadays, it is difficult to find someone who seems to be your other half, someone who mirrors you completely. You're the one. Aside from the fact that the earth is presently overpopulated, and thus it will be very difficult for you to look for your soulmate. It is also hard to really be able to identify and finally recognize someone as your ultimate half. Kinds of Soulmates There are different kinds of soulmates. First is the karmic kind wherein the two of you are compatible with each other in the sense that you are both able to work out issues together. You would probably see this kind of soulmate in a couple who is in a deep relationship with a lot of lessons learned. The second kind is dermic soulmates. This kind is often seen as a helpmate. Perhaps someone who loves to help you at work or someone who makes it a point that he or she will be able to help you or guide you in your path to a better life. You will most likely not have much of a problem in trying to spot your dermic mate because he or she will be naturally drawn to you, or you drawn to him or her. It is like you have known each other forever. You just instantaneously click with him or her, when in fact, you know little, if not nothing at all, about that person. Another kind is the twin flame soulmates. The story that has been derived from Greek mythology is an exact example of this kind. This reflects ideal love between a couple. Open your eyes wider. The mate whom you have long been searching for could just be right in front of you. He or she could be someone you see every day at work, or in school. Or he or she could be that hot dog seller on the street across your office. Instead of looking that far places, you could just narrow down your scope among those who are near and personally close to you. Since they have their own way, unconsciously, 
of drawing themselves to you. It is imperative to conclude that he or she is someone you have already met. In fact, maybe you just do not know it, but maybe you have already married your soulmate. Take a step back and see whether you really feel that your spouse utterly completes you. Similarly, if you are in a current relationship which both you and your lover are happy in, do not destroy it just for the sake of searching for your soulmate. Like what has been mentioned, you could already be with your soulmate and you just do not know it. Also, your mate is most likely someone who is already close to you or someone you have already met. So for all you know, your girlfriend or boyfriend could already be your soulmate.